Coke making takes uh, coal, a particular type of coal, coking coal, and we heat it up in ovens in the absence of air, and that transforms the coal into solid lumps the size of a cricket ball, which we call coke, and it's mostly carbon. It acts as a chemical reductant. It strips the oxygen off the iron oxide, converting it into iron. So we end up with liquid iron at the bottom of the blast furnace. So today we will do a 0.5% plastic addition to a battery uh, to making coke. We will put the plastic around 100 kilo through the hopper for each charge hole and we will do it uh, for around two minutes to make sure that the coal and plastic uh, mix uniformly. We're doing a trial of up to 1% replacement of coal in a single oven to make sure there's no problems with emissions or coke quality or other things in our operation. After that, we'd be hoping to get to 1% in our entire coking blend. So that would be using about 500 ton of plastic a week. The molecules in the plastic are very similar to the molecules in coal. They're all long chain carbon atoms with maybe 100 carbon atoms strung together in chains. So plastic is very similar to coal and behaves very similar to it in the coke ovens. So what we measure here is the pressure and gas sampling. Hopefully we don't see any difference with the usual production. So it means nothing changed, everything is okay and we can proceed with replacing coal with plastic in the future, up to 1%. This project using post-consumer plastics, it will reduce our carbon use a little bit. So we'll actually use a little bit less coking coal than we have been. Uh, but it's a bigger story in terms of circular economy in that Presently, there's a, a lot of Australia's post-consumer plastics go straight to landfill. A lot of we put into our yellow bins and uh, the soft plastics that get collected at supermarkets. Much of that is going to landfill at the moment. We can use that instead of coking coal in our process. So we leave the coal in the ground and we use this stuff rather than it going into the ground. The Japanese experience has been 1% has, been, has worked for them. However, We've got the option of using different types of plastics to what they're forced to use and so we might be able to use a little bit more. We're not sure yet, but let's start at 1% and see how we go. It's always uh, my passion to working on sustainability. Every little bit helps.